scanners about the battle scanners there that's how you say that um they can actually be pretty useful um they basically let you throw like a, a it essentially it functions like a grenade but instead of a grenade that goes boom it's a grenade that provides a vision source for two turns which can be really nifty for i want to get sight lines on an area and this also like for example would allow snipers to shoot or any other class that happens to have squad sight or any kind of extended range it works for that i want to say that it might also reveal uh invisible units but i'm not sure on that i think i might be mixing that up with the gene mod so yeah battle scanners can definitely be a good call for scouts it lets them you know do their job of go find out where the enemies are in a significantly safer way at least a couple of times per mission aggression is also nice but scouts tend to get flanking shots a lot so kind of like assaults it's just not as useful for them as it is for like infantry who don't tend to get flanking shots as much so i think i'm gonna go with battle scanners here that's really high will for a scout might be the rare psychic scout who knows psychic psionic you know what i mean well something tells me your will was really high before you took that will penalty however now now i'm not so sure which is a shame although in some ways better that it happens before i commit you to being a, a build that requires high will yeah we're gonna go with offensive engineer yeah oddly enough that never really comes up again that the chrysalids can infect animals and use them as hosts because realistically i mean they just you know go attack a zoo or various like wildlife parks or just the remote wilderness and then suddenly we've got a bunch of infected animals and chrysalids everywhere pretty sure that would just be game over but they never do that again and i'm not gonna point it out to them we will be in touch commander also we got quite a bit of money off of that mission which actually almost enough to build the thermogenerator oh actually that we're already building the thermogenerator derp um enough to probably build the uplink how much is the uplink this morning commander we're always glad to have more help down here yeah that's enough to uh that's enough money to build the uplink once the thermo generator is done and more than half of what we need for the first satellite so that should limit how much we need to sell once that thermo generator is done Detected. And we've got a scout. Okay, we're gonna start with one of the ones that hasn't gotten a kill yet. And then depending on how well they do, we'll either send up uh, a more experienced plane if they don't do very well, or we'll send up another inexperienced one if they manage to dent its health a fair bit. Disengaging. That did not go well. Detected. We're gonna send up one of our more experienced planes. We're in pursuit. Okay, 
Okay, took some damage, but you managed to do quite a bit of damage to it. Let's try another inexperienced plane. See if we can finish it off and get a kill. Enemy is padlocked. There you go. And now we need to do plane rotation. Okay, yeah, you two that are going to be out for 11 days. Okay, come on. I'm not trying to transfer. I'm trying to swap. Or No, you can't swap. You have to transfer first. That's just how the interface works. Okay, so in a couple of days, in less than a day, we'll have a third one back. A couple days after that, we'll get a couple more. And then a couple days after that, they'll be fully repaired. That should be okay. So, how'd it go, Doctor? Better than expected. Before the creature expired, I was able to extract some new information from it. You're saying that thing spoke to you? Not precisely, but when you have access to a creature's brain, certain patterns can be discerned, recent images and thoughts. And what exactly was our late friend thinking about? This particular image appeared in the creature's thought pattern several times throughout the procedure. We've already met that thing, Doctor. This is hardly the kind of breakthrough we were- And? There was a neural link in the creature's mind between this image and this one. That's the thing that pulled a disappearing act when we shot down our first UFO. And let me guess, you want to poke around in its head too. It is the next piece of the puzzle. And this time, instead of shooting it, I suggest we try to capture it alive. Am I the only one that thinks it's weird that the arc thrower, which is... An electric pulse designed to incapacitate them by stunning them or overwhelming their nervous system also works on this weird crystal thing that's made mostly of energy. I mean, maybe electromagnetic fields still mess with it, but it just always seemed a bit odd to me. I believe that we also have a Thin Man captive that we need to be getting around to interrogating, so we need to get the autopsy on these guys done. The Torp One has, up until this point, been unofficially referred to as the Thin Man. Initial testing has revealed a concerted effort by the aliens to modify this specimen's genetic structure in such a way as to make it appear human. However, on closer inspection, they seem to have had some trouble concealing the eyes, which appear to be reptilian in nature. In times of war, there's always a leader, a general, someone giving the orders. These aliens can be no different. The real question is, what sort of power or authority does it take to control such a vast range of alien species? What incentive do they have to follow through with this plan? So I would like to get a foundry up soon because one of the things that that Thin Man autopsy is going to unlock is a project to make our med kits significantly more effective. Like, I believe it goes from restoring three health per use to six health per use. However... I want the workshops to go over here, so that also includes the foundry because its adjacency bonuses are workshop adjacency bonuses. So that means 40 credits to excavate, plus how much to build it? 200? Yeah, we can do it, but it's going to seriously eat into the budget for getting the satellites up. However, we need to at least start it because... 
it's gonna take uh, unfortunately it doesn't say how long it'll take for the construction but it's gonna take a bit just to construct it in five days just to dig this out we need to get started on it if it means I have to sell more things then it means I have to sell more things Detected. Oh boy. Really wish you'd waited about another day because then we would have had more. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to try to send people up defensively, take a shot or two, and run away if they don't get hit. We have eyes on the bandit. No joy here. Disengaging. Contact detected. Engaging bogey. We lost the bubble. Contact detected. in pursuit. he at least managed to damage it enough that it doesn't manage to complete its mission not good okay well firefly is almost repaired so we're gonna move 14 day one there out we're gonna move out the nine day one too and we're gonna have to just buy a new interceptor there went my budget Another engineer, please. Yep, there's the hunter. We're probably gonna lose a satellite here. There's not jack that I can do. We will now be unable to track any UFO contacts over that particular nation. And they've cut off as a result. And this is with me trying to significantly rebalance the air game. It is broken. That is the thing that I do not like about this one. And I don't think the proper response was getting rid of it in two. I think the proper response was actually giving you things to do here rather than just making it a mini game with a series of dice rolls. We lost the bubble. Contact detected. out. Okay, good. We need that funding. Okay. Dr. Volan's interrogation technique certainly is efficient. You'd never know it by looking at her. That woman is an alien's worst nightmare.
At least we've got some vets on our side. It takes a serious pair to go face to face with one of those things. I really hate selling alloys in Alarium, but the new we need this always satellites now. We're going to need one to replace the one that we just lost. And we're going to need one to put over... I believe it's Russia is the other one that we haven't covered. Yeah, we're, we need a satellite to put over Germany and we need a satellite to put over Russia. And it's not going to be done until after the council report and there's nothing I can do about that. So, on we go. Watch transfer complete. Commander, we have multiple reports of new abductions in progress. The locations are marked on the hologlobe. Okay, this is a roadway map. Definitely going to bring at least one sniper. Probably our uh, less experienced snipers, though. Definitely also a specialist sniper. Let's say Zara. Good scout. Okay, good God. Uh, just about everyone who's named is still out because everyone got wounded on that mission. It was horrible. But no one died. That's the important thing. Yeah, we kind of need to get our less experienced scouts some time in the field, so let's take Flavio. And then try to supplement them with a slightly more experienced medic. And also Zhang, because I'd really like to get an engineer to sergeant rank so they can start using the arc thrower more effectively. And let's say, yeah, Henrik there could use some experience. And yeah, Setia. This is a, a good mix of soldiers of different experience levels, I think. Let's see, yeah, you're an Overwatch medic, so you'll just keep carrying a bunch of med kits. If you're on a mission that has like two medics on it or something where we have a lot of med kits bouncing around, especially once we get to the, get the med kits upgraded a bit, I might give you a scope. But since you're the only medic on this mission, I'd rather you just have the med kits. Uh, yeah, you're, you're good. No need to edit your equipment. And yeah, you need the heavier armor. Even if you're a sniper and you really shouldn't be getting shot, I still want you to have some armor because your base health is so bad. There's your scope. You, on the other hand, have a bunch of health, so you can stay in that light armor. Here's your scope. And then Jang. Yeah, we're going to keep him with this mix of equipment. I think it's a good mix of support grenades and offensive grenades. And our assault here is going to be carrying the arc thrower. See if we can get a capture. And unfortunately, we're out of scopes for the infantry, so they're not going to be quite as accurate as they could be, but hopefully we get a chance to make more scopes. I'm going to double check, but I'm pretty sure we only have two. Yeah. Would kind of like to get the motion tracker on somebody. Yeah, 
we have we have enough med kits on this. I think we can afford to put the motion tracker on our scout there. Touching down. The area of engagement for this mission will be in India. We've picked up a local broadcast indicating alien activity within a major metropolitan area. We should get down there and eliminate any hostiles. Solid copy, Big Sky. Strike one is cleared to engage. Okay, so it's going to be the one, one of the few roadway maps that sometimes don't work super well for snipers, but eh, honestly, this map usually still isn't too bad for them. Affirmative. Tracking. Try to get people into cover and figure out where the enemies are. The usual. Visual on the goods. Eh, got some meld over there, if nothing else. So the snipers... We could have them run up here, where they've got some high ground. The only problem is, I don't know if it's high enough ground to like get them to where they're able to see over the truck, and there is some other high cover that could disrupt their sight lines, but... Let's see, where's our motion tracker? Let's use that thing. Okay, so the one alien group we're seeing is over in that direction. I just wanted to check that there weren't any... I'm still going to have you run up this way, actually, because what I want to know is... Okay, there probably aren't any up in this corner then. I wanted to make sure that I wasn't sending the snipers to run up this hill... And, you know, oh, there's an enemy group up there. I don't think that's very likely. I think the motion tracker at this point could cover that whole corner. Got it. Moving. Now, I could have you run out this way and, like, start climbing. But... I'd honestly rather, especially since... Well, yeah, you're the one with better health. Like, you could go out the other way. However, this side... Yeah, that that's a lot more difficult to climb. You'd have to, like, go around that way, and then that that's a lot more effort. So, I think I'm just gonna have you run up this way, because it gets you set up a little quicker, even if it does mean we might have less coverage on that side. Stepping off. I have it covered. Overwatch. Aye, 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 aye. Drodze. Wypatruję nieprzyjaciół. Overwatch. Aye, aye. Those are mutons. And thin men. Lovely. To be honest, until the mutons get their heavier rifles, in some ways the thin men scare me more because they tend to be more mobile. Moving to position. Got it. It just got hot in here. Okay, we have two thin men and a seeker. And the seeker surprisingly didn't decide to cloak. Moving to position. Tak jest. Okay, I'd rather not go triggering any other groups right now, so you're just gonna double back this way. Focus on this lot first. Adjusting sights. I'm 
missed the target. Okay, hit one of the thin men and wounded it pretty badly. Let's see if we can finish that one off. Okay, one of the thin men is down. However, we weren't able to really do anything to the seeker, so we're gonna have Henry here just pull back. Which is unfortunate for getting to the meld, but I'd rather not get him flanked by the Seeker if we can help it. Okay, the mutons were moving around. I'm very impressed that our medic hit, which means she'll get another shot if it keeps moving because of rapid reaction. Holy crap! Okay, that medic is lucky. Should be lucky enough that it doesn't... Okay, it didn't flank her though, so... Downside is she got hit, but she also managed to hit it and she can heal herself, so not too bad. I'm glad it wasn't able to quite flank her. Gonna see if our infantry, one of its, one of her shots, can uh, Shut the can kill this seeker, so that everyone else could maybe focus on the uh, the thin men. No luck on that so far. Let's see, no Overwatch, so the scout can just stay and shoot. Doesn't need to. He's down. Okay. Medic's probably just gonna heal themselves. Let's see if the snipers can do anything to this thin man. Good start. Very nice. Gonna have Zhang work his way towards the smeld. Honestly, gonna just kind of have the shotgunner hang out over here because I keep hearing mutons moving somewhere over in this direction. And I'd like the person with the shotgun to be vaguely near that. Medic is gonna also go over here. Heal themselves up. Let me reload. Ooh, floaters and a muton. Even better. As well as two thin men and a sectoid. So, two thin men, a sectoid, two floaters and a muton, I think? And one of the floaters is overwatching. Okay. We're gonna have our scout at least run up this far, see if that's enough to trigger the overwatch. No. So we need to be very careful with how we move these guys next to the truck because they're the ones that are probably at risk of triggering the overwatch. That move might be okay or it might trigger the overwatch as she goes through this gap. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, okay, step one. Zhang, please get this meld so that the sound quits assaulting my ears. And get yourself back into cover. I'm a little bit nervous about that particular space because the floaters might be able to get up far enough to flank it. But I also really want you to be in full cover because you are not high enough ranked as a scout to have low profile yet. So we're just going to have you run up. Going to have Setia yes, run I copy. here. Back in. 
gun. Going to have our medic circle around to this end of the truck and reload her gun. Now our snipers should be far enough away that they don't need to be worried worried about getting shot at yet. And it looks like they mostly have shots on the thin man and the sectoid. And unfortunately, Zhang was too far back to get in a position where he could throw a grenade to maybe break through cover. That would have helped. Well, you've got the best shot on the sectoid, so we're going to go with that. Excellent. Nice. Honestly, they can still be threatening if they hit you with their psychic attacks at a bad time, so... Let's see if we can start whittling this muton down. That's going to take a few shots to kill. We're going to have our shotgun or do overwatch in case the floaters try to close in. Oh, that was unlucky. They hit an 11% shot on my assault. That This could be bad if they follow up on him. Oh god, more Thin Men? Now they're spitting acid on the assault. And shooting at Jang. At least they didn't hit the 15%. Okay. So we need to be exceptionally careful how we move because one, we've got Overwatch, one of which is opportunist Overwatch, which means it's more accurate and can crit. We've also got three Thin Men hanging around just outside of our sight range. If we twitch the wrong way, they're going to be alerted. Sadly, the Assault is carrying the Arc Thrower instead of a med kit, so the Acid means they can't move without taking damage. So what's gonna happen, even though this unfortunately means the acid is gonna get on the medic, the medic is gonna go over here to heal up the assault, try to get him to where maybe he could take one more hit without dying, although that's not a guarantee. We've got these thin men crawling up the side and that's bad. No, do not shoot the one that's not active. That would be really dumb. Let's see if we can maybe get the snipers to pick one of these floaters off. They're a threat as well. Adjusting Training sights. ammo fast. That sniper can't even see anything from where he is, so you're going to move further up so that you get more of a height advantage and into a spot where you can see them better. And you're going to reload your gun. I considered steadying the weapon instead, but we need to make sure he can keep shooting. Right, well, the scout could theoretically move to try to flank that thin man, but it leaves him very vulnerable to getting flanked by all kinds of stuff to be honest and I'm slightly worried it might alert those other three thin men if we were unlucky Dang, how far can you throw a grenade not quite far enough just a little further and you would have been able to could potentially bust through that cover. And if we could at least take that one out, that would help. We're gonna try that. Heads down! Okay, we're gonna have the scout run this way. Hopefully he doesn't see those other thin men. Yes, Commander. Okay, good. See if you can pick this one off. There we go. I'm really hoping that other Thin Men just panics. That would help a lot. And we're... 
I'm tempted to have the assault hunker down, but if we don't have some kind of overwatch to try to keep these floaters from moving in on top of him, we're going to have problems. Okay, for some reason it decided that the next soldier overwatched too, even though I only hit the button once. Hopefully that doesn't screw anything up. Okay, that floater's doing the thing where they just move. ET's trying to follow my flank. They've got me flanked. I'm taking heavy fire. And he's gonna try to suppress. Make okay, me. now those three are gonna move in. Okay. Okay, the uh, thin men there. We can probably have the scout deal with that, but first we need to figure out what we're doing with this floater. I think we're going to try to have our infantry just kill it. Hopefully she does enough damage to it. If not, then to be perfectly honest, I'm not entirely certain what we're going to do. But this might work. On my way. Okay, good. Okay, we're going... Ah, uh, the scout's out of ammo. It might not be worth risking the overwatch, then we'll, we'll see. Let's see what our snipers can do. Yeah, we're gonna focus on that one of the two that Zara could hit. No way! I need ammo! Okay, other sniper. We could potentially break the suppression, which might let the assault do something. But to be honest, I'm not entirely sure what I would have the assault even do. However, the floaters are a pretty big threat. So I think I'm gonna try this. There we go. Okay, I could potentially have the scout break the overwatch so that Zhang could move to flank without getting shot at. It also potentially lets the scout get into better cover. So we're going to do that. Take fire over here. Now Zhang is going to scoot up. As you wish. Over here. Try to pick this thing off. Down. There we go. So the other one should be far enough back now that they can't flank our scout in a blue move. So the scout can just reload. Our medic is going to finish healing the assault. <laughs> The assault is going to just keep overwatching and try to keep these guys from moving up this way. I'm all right. God, that thing is scarily accurate. If it had like over 30% chance to hit even in full cover, we need to focus on it. Because the Muton and the other Thin Men have like less than 20% chances to hit. It's a pretty big difference. Alright, focus on that Thin Men probably. Yeah, you even have the better chance to hit it, so no brainer really. Okay, that should bring its chance to hit down. Alright, this sniper is out of ammunition right now, so we're going to try to move into a spot where she'll have better line of sight anyway, hopefully. And reload your gun. Okay, we're just gonna move Zhang back into full cover over here. He's probably just gonna overwatch, although he... Can you get a smoke grenade, like, all the way over here? You can. And you're gonna. Ooh. their options for shooting at us. 
gonna start having oh, yeah. the scout creep around this side. Just gonna go poke around this. Heading there now. So they mostly went for overwatch and suppression, which is fine because I don't think I need to move. Let's see if we can pick this one off. The idea here mostly is to just keep everyone alive while the snipers do their job. Yeah, not too worried about the thin men that's suppressing. I don't think I need to move my assault this turn. So let's go for the better shot on the muton. That is not good. Come on, even, even just a lo Oh, you have covering fire. That's all you've got, is it? Aya, ah, no hit. to keep them in place. Shang's also going to overwatch just in case they would run up, I think. Although, I think we managed to kill one of the overwatchers and then got rid of the mutant's overwatch because of his covering fire, which I think demonstrates why I don't tend to take covering fire. Because that just left me free to make this move. Which, I mean, it missed, but still, if I'd hit, then, and it had a decent chance of hitting, it would have ruined his day. Okay, you have the motion tracker, right? Use that. I'm not seeing any more aliens in this direction, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have him hide in this truck so that he can pop out and start flanking these things next turn. Orders confirmed. Moving out. And you just keep scaring them into either suppressing you or at least not moving. Either. You pop around to the other corner here. Might have you move there next turn. Not sure. <laughs> okay, you're just going to somehow spit acid through the boxes, I guess. Cannot sustain fire. And now the uh, muton is going to cover itself in acid. I, I'm not going to argue with it. You can do that if you'd like. Right, let's see what we got. Slightly better shot on the muton, but I'm less worried about the muton right now because he's going to be dealing with acid for a bit. So let's see if we can pick off these thin men. That was a good start. Use some ammo over here. No way! Can you get a flashbang that far? You can, but you can't quite hit the, uh... anyone that could follow up if you broke its cover so yeah we're still gonna get with the flashbang it's gonna limit the amount of times our scout has to dodge or yep okay yep covering fire again one percent to hit didn't work but not good enough honestly maybe i should have just had jang fire that would have also gotten rid of the overwatch that's i, I often forget to factor covering fire in but i need to 
now we're gonna have our scout go over here. Aye, aye. He's gonna have to dodge the one, but it's only 2% to hit. Incoming fire! That gets rid of one of the Thin Men. The Muton's pretty disabled between the uh, the flashbang grenade and the acid. So I actually feel pretty safe at this point just having the assault him up, knock him down. run in and kill this Thin Man. Call an ass. Okay, medic. You're gonna get rid of the acid that's on our infantry. So the infantry can. No, I do not wish to abort the mission. Yes, I know someone is technically standing in the evac zone. That's happenstance. Okay, he's gonna damage himself by reloading his gun. Alright, snipers, have some fun. Out of rounds. Commander, the operation was a success. Honestly, it occurs to me I probably should have tried to capture that muton, but it occurred to me after I told the second sniper to shoot. No big deal. Unfortunately, a couple of unlucky wounds there, but overall, not too bad. I've been informed that there's food now waiting on me, so I'm gonna do these promotions, try to wrap this up for a bit. Yeah, we're gonna go with Will to Survive because it, it also just helps with those unlucky shots. Like it would have done one or two less damage, which would have turned that kind of nasty wound into a pretty negligible one. <laughs> Remember, we will be watching. Is there anything else I need to do before I take a break? Nope. I mean, we got some wounds, but still got plenty of soldiers ready to go on missions, so I think we're doing okay. Honestly, the bigger concern, as almost always, is the planes. Got a couple of planes that are going to be back within hours. Another that's going to be ready a couple days after that, and then another that's going to be ready a couple days after that. So hopefully the aliens just give us some breathing room there. Because if not, we're in trouble. Already lost one satellite. That's bad enough. But not a whole lot to be done about it. It's part of the reason I really don't like the air game is because it feels like there's a limit on how much you can do, especially early on. <sighs> but not a whole lot to be done about that. I will see you guys next time.